You are watching the Awoken Channel. By the way, I made a mistake when I said the father was raped. I meant to say the father raped the mother. So yeah, that part I made it never heard. It just literally sound like I said the father was raped. But uh, and I think I made another mistake towards the mid end of the video. I forgot what it was, but I just wanted to point that out. But anyway, enjoy the video and love you all. <laughs> What's up, everyone? So, abortion. So, you know, now it's illegal. You get pregnant, you gotta have that kid. Now, you wanna know why? Because that kid's gonna possibly be beneficial for the hamster wheel. That's right, the wheel's slowing down a little bit, so we got you to have that kid. So we can make that hamster wheel spin, man. Spin out of control, literally. Just to show you how you're not free. You literally, you know, they say you have freedom of speech, but yet you say a certain thing, people get all ass hurt over it. And then now you have no freedom of rights because they're literally taking away, you know, your right. First of all, what happens if some poor woman gets raped? And when the person gets raped, ends up getting pregnant. What are you going to tell that son or daughter when it's born? You were a mistake. I, I didn't really mean to have you. It's just, you know, I got raped and I couldn't get no abortion. So here you are today, son. Anyway, just, you know, get ready to go to school. Get get on that hamster wheel. You know, <laughs> you know, that's the thing. They have no right telling you people what you should or shouldn't do you know not everyone wants to have a kid which in today's world I, in today's world i don't know how you would want to want to have a kid you know but you know somebody gets raped out of you know she has no control whatever she's tied up let's say group of people raping her. i mean what, what are you gonna what are you gonna tell your kid you're a mistake i mean you only here because you're a rapist and knowing your father was raped. Daddy, did you rape mommy? You know, I mean, these are the things that poor kid's going to have to face for the rest of his life or her life if it's a female, whatever the scenario is, you know. So it's like, this is why it should be legal to have abortions. I, I totally recommend abortions. First of all, I wish I kind of got aborted, you know, <laughs> you know, but, uh, uh, but oh seriousness, I mean, this world, it's just, nothing is a surprise anymore. It's like, you could just see it's going downhill. You could just see it. It's getting worse and worse day by day. Never mind a year from year. It's, it's day by day. You just see it getting worse and worse. More unbearable, more torment, more hell going on. More than ever before, man. It's crazy. These poor kids are going to be born... What if the, the, like I've said in the past, what if the mother and father are broke? Now, what is that poor kid going to do? Be left in poverty? Unable to eat? Unable to have shelter? Unable to have clothes on his or her back? All because, you know, you don't want to ban abortion. And not only, and it's not only just that, it's just parents do that stupid decision regardless. Some of them are like, oh, let's have a kid. Meanwhile, they're financially not doing well. So who ends up suffering? The kid. The kid's going to have double their weight on their, the, the parents' weight on their shoulder. That just goes to show you. This is all done because they want that hamster wheel to keep spinning. They do. So that's what they value. We're valued. The government value us as their tools, their instruments, you know. You know, for example, a guy... A rock band or whatever. He brings his guitar. He's, the, he's you know. It's, that's, it's like a tool. It's an instrument. It's like what we are to the government. We're doing their dirty work. That's why they want to have, you know. Kids keep popping out. Literally just goes back to history repeating itself. All the harsh things that happened back then. Literally are starting to happen again. 
wars back then in the 1800s, 19, well, 1800s, I, would, I don't know, whatever. But now we got a war in Ukraine and so on. Now we're, we're making abortions illegal again. So it's like instead of making the improvement, instead of making things better, we're just, we're downsizing is how, is like, if that's the word to say, you know, we're just, we're not improving in any way. We're just going back downhill status. It's like we're going back to the old days, but miserable days, if you, if you know, but I don't know anymore, man. It's just this world truly, truly, truly makes me sick to my stomach, you know. You know, it comes to a point where it's close to like, you know, bedtime. And I'm saying to myself, ah, I could sort of temporarily escape this. You know, it's like a nice, relaxing, cozy time for a little bit. But then before you know it, you wake back up into this bullshit and you hear more stupid shit going on on the news, whatever it might be. Mass shootings or not even that. I mean, I can understand why people are doing mass shootings because his life's so fucked up. People are losing it. But even with the inflation and shit like that, this is getting more expensive. This used to cost this. Now it costs this, man. You know, like, like I just say to myself. Could it be bedtime again? Literally, like, I'm, I'm just like, why do I got to keep waking up to this fucking nonsense? Why? And then you're going to bring a poor kid into this world. And it's like it's like a whole new beginning chapter. Like, you know, it's crazy. All the harsh things we already gone through and we're like, oh, I can't ever do that again. Like, for example, with school, we finally got that bullshit out of the way. Like, man, I never want to rewind to those times again. And then we see a kid doing that. And it's like, man, he, he's he's just the beginning, man. Little does he know. And life is just getting more and more <laughs> expensive and harder. You know, you would think life would get easier, you know, as the future comes. You know, we have technology, obviously. Technology keeps getting better and better and better. We got 4K, I think 6K, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it 8K? I don't know. But what I'm trying to just say is... You know, technology supposedly getting better and better and more advanced. You think we would put that to good use, you know, make our lives easier somehow. Somehow figure a way to make our lives easier. Instead, it's all going against us, just making our lives more harder and harder. It's a whole pointless rat race bullshit game, dude. It's just a game that won't ever end. Like I've said, try again, quit. Sadly, with it we're forced to just keep trying again you know that that's the honest truth my in my view my opinion i should say they have no right telling you what you should or shouldn't do with your life with your body it's your body you want an abortion you should have every right to have an abortion you want to have a kid even though i'm against it it's the person's right you know what i'm saying Big mistake, in my opinion, but it's still the person's right, you know? But basically what I'm saying is we should be in control of our bodies. And that's the thing. The government are trying to take as much control as they can, you know? The phones now, you know, all right, that's the thing in the past. Let's think of a new way to try to, you know, one day we're going to be friggin' linked into a computer where our consciousness is literally in a computer, and we're really trapped in this shithole forever because I don't know if we ever died and our consciousness forever lives in this shithole. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Well, it's it's mandatory that you take the vaccine shot. It shouldn't be mandatory to do any fucking thing. You should have every right to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And I'm not, I'm saying it like like in a mad, but it's just the truth. It's the truth. Truth. <laughs> That's the thing. They want to have so much control over us. We're literally their puppets. We're like their video game, you know, like GTA, you know, controlling the guy, you know, doing stupid things, you know, when you make him go like this shit or whatever the fuck or when you go literally that's them telling us what we're going to do. We're, we're, we're the mindless ones here. They make the rules, the rules. Sad, the sad life we live in and I'm just getting more fed up of it. Because the thing is, we don't try and break free from it somehow, you know? There's so many of us, but yet it's like instead of trying to go against it, we just fall We just fall in the trap. It's literally like a bear trap. We just fall right in it. We don't see anything wrong with it. 
Well, some do, but they don't do it. I mean, thing is, we need a whole bunch of people to team up and do something, but they won't ever get to that, you know? Because we're so far brainwashed, we're so far manipulated that to the point where it's the way life is, man. Just got to go with the flow, and then that's literally what we do. Not literally, it's definitely what we do, you know? Yeah. You know how they could be powerless? The government? Stop breeding. Stop producing. Reproducing. One day that hamster wheel will have to stop at some point. But us keep reproducing, you know, having more kids, we're just refueling the hamster wheel. So, you know, that's why now they want to make abortion illegal. Because every kid counts. Every kid counts so they can get this. We make this for them. Pablo? Yeah. Hurry up. Get on that hamster wheel, lad. Okay. <laughs> Come on, we doing that? Doing good, son. Keep it up. I'm going to go hang out with your mom. Be right back. Actually, we're planning on having another kid. Cool. I want another brother. Oh, yeah. Keep that hamster wheel going, literally. It's literally all we fucking do, bro. That's why I'm sick of people saying life's a gift. Think of the positives. What fucking positives are there? That's the thing, too. Like, you'll go to therapy. I guarantee therapists will say... There's positive things in life. Like what? And I want to see it. Like, like if anyone here sees a therapist, I have in the past. And I said, what, uh, what is positive? Oh, you know, starting a family, you know, having a kid. Ain't fucking positive. Bringing another poor soul into this world. Starting a family, having a kid. Having a kid to, to refuel the hamster wheel. That's positive. Like when you really think about it. There's nothing really positive about this life. And it's just, it's the truth. People may deny it. And hey, that's, you know, everyone has their own opinions. You know, it is what it is. But how I look at it as there's just, I don't see nothing positive about this life. I don't. I mean, I I, I don't. I can't think of one thing. I can think of mul multiple negative things. But one positive thing. Actually, yes, there is one positive thing in life. Knowing one day this shit's going to fucking be over. Well, at least I hope. You know, fingers crossed on that. But but it's like, seriously, I mean, this, <coughs> excuse me. People say, man, stop thinking like that. Can't, can't you ever just be positive? And I'm saying, like, what's there to be positive about? There's nothing to be positive here. Knowing one day I got to pay bills. Knowing one day I got to pay taxes. Every little thing that I need, I got to pay. I got to pay just to eat. I got to pay natural things from the earth. Water, water. Natural fucking things from the earth I need to pay for. A flower that's just going to friggin' die like us, but much quicker. <laughs> you know? It's like, really, what positive thing is there in life? I can't name, well, just that one with knowing it's going to expire at some point. But I can't think of another positive thing. I'm honestly, all kidding aside, I'm truly trying to think of another positive thing in this life. Or, uh, uh, you know, the bitches, man. That's good. Come on, man cares about this shit it's all fucking it's just all a waste of time i mean yeah all right it's cool you know but i mean in the long run where's that get you broke because all they want is this not saying all girls like that i have none against women really but the majority of them are like that you know but um yeah there's more hell than pleasure there's only very Every little teeny bitty bitty bits of pleasure in this world but the torment the hell the misery is a whole big room this is the misery and this is just a little pleasureness whether people want to you know agree on that disagree on that it's fine but i'm just being straightly honest not too long ago a friend said to me can't you ever talk about anything positive? <laughs> and I'm like, how? And you know, it's funny. The person said, with all this hell going on, like, you know, with inflation and all this shit going on, it's not good to talk about the negatives. Try to think of actually really good things worth living for. And I'm like, really? What? You just said it, pal. You gave the answer without even realizing you gave the answer. All the hell going on in life, because that's all life gives. That's all life always offers us. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to bed. The only time you temporarily escape this shit is when you sleep. What do you think why depressed people want to sleep? 
They're trying to escape their pain, man. And the thing is, not everyone's truly depressed like they think they are. They just, they, a lot of people see what the world truly is. But now that they, they see what the world truly is, they're known to write off the books that we're, we have depression, we suffer, we don't think correctly. Meanwhile, that's not the case whatsoever. It's not. I mean, think how stupid I'm going to sound right now. I'm so thankful to be born, you know. Now I got to go to school, meet some friends. All right, maybe that's one good thing, meeting friends. Woo. I got to learn all this stupid shit that happened with history and all the bullshit, all the pointless shit that happened that's happening now. Basically a rerun of history, you know. But and now, now I got to go to the next grade. I got to homework. I got to study. Uh, uh, okay, finally. Oh, I'm in high school now, man. This is the real hell. Four years of this bullshit. I'm a freshman. Uh, I'm a junior. Sophomore, sophomore, junior, junior, senior, whatever the fuck I forgot at this point. <laughs> and then you graduate with that stupid hat thing with the stupid sheepy string hanging down. And then, you know, you, you say to yourself, Whew, that was some hard work. Finally, I can take a break. No, now you got to do four years in college or get a job or do college and then get a job. Either or you got to go to college and you got to pay. So if you're flunking college, you're wasting your time and money to one day try to make money. I mean, come on. But no, this is a gift. I'm super happy for this, man. I'm so happy. Now I'm working. Now I'll oh, show my battery. Hold on. Hope that ain't in fear. But anyway, now I'm wor working. Hi, right, how can I help you? Yeah, sure thing, man. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, I'll try to help you, man. Sure thing. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm clocking out. Whew. Gotta do it again, man. Okay, I'll try to help you, man. Okay, bye-bye. Then -bye. finally get to retire for a little bit. Whoa. Uh, 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 what is that? But life was worth it, man. It was so positive. I mean, think how stupid I sound saying this. Nothing worth being here. I'm not saying let's all end it. I definitely, like I said, I don't recommend it. Even though it's a complete shithole. But thing I'm trying to say is I can't stand stupid people that say look of the positive things. There is no positive things. I mean, yeah, nature's nice, you know, hearing the stupid birds go. But in the long run, what is that going to get us? Absolutely nowhere. We got to worry about how we're going to pay for this, how we're going to afford our meals, how we're going to afford a stupid roof over our head. Just all of the above, all of the above. So what benefit is life? There is no benefit here. You're just here to fucking struggle your ass, be miserable, and then fucking die. That's it. Whether you like it or not, this is how it is, and then you die. But, uh, yeah, back to abortion, you know. Like I said, they just... You have no control anymore. It's like you're a little speck. That's literally what we're like. Little specks being told what to do. We have no thoughts of our own. And some of us do. And then that's when people jump down our throat. You're crazy. You know, It's like they don't want us awoken. They don't. I mean, come on. It's common sense. They don't want us awoken. They want us to be little drones. Obeying them. Mm, kissing their feet. Mm, I'm going to make money for the government. La 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 la. I got no thoughts in hey head. I'm a blue pill. Yeah, yada yada. I mean, God, this is this is how they want us. We're little specks. We have no power whatsoever. We have it's like it's like we have no dignity anymore, man. We have no friggin' yeah, like we just we have no dignity. We have no friggin' self esteem. I don't know, man. I just I don't know how to explain it at this point, but it's like we're just powerless. We're just taught. To only go with the flow, and that's all we do. Instead of trying to end this shit once and for all, stop producing, man. One day this wheel could finally crash. But we're just going to keep creating. And now don't you see that? Now abortion's illegal. illegal. Now you got to have a kid. Kid's rape. Still got to have a kid, man. Mommy, where's daddy? Your dad's no good. Why? He raped me. That's why you're here. You, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, I, sorry, son. It's just I wasn't thinking clearly that day. Uh, 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 yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, just to show you how much they care about you. 
The poor kid's got to suffer now, knowing the father's a rapist. You know, the kid knows he wasn't meant to be here. He was here by accident. And knowing his father's a piece of shit. How do you live like that for the rest of your life? If that was me, I, I, honestly, I don't know how I, I would be able to live every day. I, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, just think about that for a sec. That's just to show you how they don't care. They don't care. They just want to fuel that hamster wheel. That's all that's on their minds. It's all about money. Like I said, we're only caring for money. We don't care about our mental... Like, th th we're not cared for our mental state, our, our well-being, you know... We just cared for what we have, what we can do to keep that wheel turning. It's all it's all about. It's what the rat race thing is all about. The rat's chasing the cheese, but in the in the long run, there ain't no cheese. There's a bunch of bones because we're all going to be some bones, you know. Well, yeah, ashes to ashes, you know, <laughs> but it's crazy, man. Like I've said, it's just nothing surprises me anymore in this world. Nothing that whatsoever surprises me anymore in this world. It's just, it's so corrupted and retarded that anything I hear on the news today, I don't drop my mouth like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, I'm, I'm, that's not me anymore. I just, I'm, I'm, I expect the, the most stupidest things to occur in this world today. And they do. If I hear a friggin', um... If if I heard on the news at this point that there's a dinosaur, one left that's alive, let's just say, my jaw will literally not drop down to the floor like, what? Holy shit, I thought they're all extinct. Like, that's just an example of, of basically what I'm trying to say is nothing surprises me anymore about this stupid, dumbass fucking world that we live in. Nothing surprises me anymore. I won't be surprised if one day it's legal to kill people. You shot him? Oh, it's legal now. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's almost like it is okay because like sometimes we just get a slap of the wrist. Some of these people still roam in the fucking streets. But then you get people that do... I'm not saying it's not bad of a crime, but lesser things that aren't as bad. And he has to go to prison for more time. You know, this person just killed your son or daughter, let's just say. And he's getting a slap on the wrist. Or maybe two, three. You know, I'm just I'm just making up something, but you know what I mean? Like it's just this whole fucking system makes no sense. It's like whatever they want it's like it's all controlled by them. It's all an illusion. It's all it's like what they want. If that makes sense, you know? I don't know anymore, man. It's just like that's what I'm trying to say. It's like nothing surprises me anymore in this world. I won't be surprised if one day they don't care if you're drunk driving, man. You know, I'm just, I mean, I'm sure I'd never be to that extent, but you know, I'm just another example. It's like we literally just make up the rules. There's no such thing as rules. We make up rules. There's no such thing as money controlling us. We allow it to control us. Money's just, it, it's no different than, <clears throat> than a leaf. It's no different than, uh, I mean, it's it's no different than really it's it's just it's just money it's it's just a piece of paper we allow it to rule us because those are the rules it's the rule that it rules us to the point where it rules us you know so it's like everything's all man made up it's pointless it's so fucking stupid man it's legal now that uh, uh, abortion's legal now oh now it's illegal oh now it's legal it's like it's like weed, for example. Shit's illegal. Oh, oh now we're going to make it legal. It's like we just changed the rules. All right, we're getting bored of it being illegal now. You know what? Uh, uh, you know what? I'm getting bored of it being illegal. You know what? Let's make it legal now. Let's get high, you know? It's like back then in the days when alcohol used to... Stupid phone, yo. But I was trying to say, it's like back then in the days when alcohol being illegal. What happened? Why did we just randomly make it legal now? nothing different about it did something change about alcohol that now we could say all right it's legal now it's safer so it's alcohol is alcohol right so that just goes to show you we're just making up rules it used to be illegal like marijuana but now it came to a point all right it's legal you know now we get drunk driving assholes you know we'll make weed legal now we're gonna get high people oh 
I don't know anymore. It's just like I've said, I just nothing surprises me anymore in this stupid fucking world, man. Let's make cocaine legal next. You know, it's like we literally just play around with the rules. You know, it's like a traffic light. Oh, I'm going to turn it red. Let's turn it green. Oh, let's turn the other intersection green too. So, that, uh, bing, you know, let, that's basically the example. But anyway, I got to unfortunately stop this video because a stupid fucking phone storage is running out. Piece of shit. Need paper just to get more storage. But uh, I hope I've made a, you know, a valid point in this video today. And, you know, I love you guys all. And take it easy. And uh, yeah, what else could we make legal, yo? Let's randomly punch in someone in the face. Now it's legal. It's the law now, you know. Give me a break, man. This won't suck.